Hello. Welcome back, guys, to another uh, devotion from Colossians. Yeah, boy, Colossians is just so full of good stuff. And I would actually challenge you to just read. It's a short book. Read the whole thing. Yeah. And unpack it. Four chapters, and this one means a lot to me. It spoke to me early on in the development of my faith. I'll share a little bit about that today. Yeah, so uh, join me. I'll pray, and then I'm going to be reading uh, Colossians 2, 6. But let's, let's ask God to speak to us. Mm-hmm. God, uh, we know that this is your word and that you are present in it and that your power is somehow present in your words. And so we, um, we ask you to help make us aware of your voice speaking to us and help us to be receptive to your, your power working through it in whatever way you might want to shape us. So speak to us and shape us through your word. And thank you for the gift of your word. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. So again, Colossians 2.6 short verse that says this therefore as you received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him and um, that is one of the first verses there were probably four or five verses that I uh, committed to memory early on in the development of my faith and this was one of the first therefore as you have received Jesus Christ as Lord that's a passive thing God did the work he came to us he reached out he was the one working in my life and as I received that um, but now it's it's not over. Continue to walk in him. Um, I remember that it, it meant so much to me because I saw so many people who claimed to believe in Jesus Christ, but their lives didn't bear any fruit and they didn't demonstrate uh, that they were followers of Christ. And so early on, this really impacted me and it still does today. I you, You've heard me say over and over again, um, the church isn't about Sunday morning. It's not about one hour time of worship. We are the body of Christ, and that means 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everything we do from the moment we wake up until we shut our eyes at night um, to get our rest, to start all over again the next day. Everything we do, we can seek to do for the glory of God. Um, it really ties in with what we talked about yesterday that he is before all things. In him, all things hold together. Um, I remember when I left Good Shepherd in Cedar Park, the last sermon that I did was, it's all because of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all for Jesus. If you think about what those three words mean, it affects your whole life. We don't just receive Jesus as Lord and then go, I'm done. God did his work and, and I'm good to go now. I've got eternal life, I'm finished. We seek him out, we continue to grow, and we walk in him. Walking in him simply means living with him, for him, about him, because of him. It's, it's all tied together. Um, it means living for him every single moment of every single day. No matter what we're doing, we can do all of it for his glory. And we're going to actually tie that into the one tomorrow. I think it, it, it's a natural connection. Um, so mm-hmm. just maybe commit this one to memory and think about what it means and ask God, God, what are you saying to me? Because he spoke to me in a big way through this verse. Therefore, as you've received me, I, I'm in you. Now walk with me. Don't go off on your own. Walk with me. What is God saying to you? How does that encourage you? How does that motivate you? And what are we going to do about it? Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> um, don't, don't just go, okay, yeah, it sounds good. Really chill on those questions and then pray about it. And so, um, and then the church is here, as we'll kind of hear tomorrow, the church is here to help you continue to walk in Him. So lean on this community, reach out to other people, help them to walk in Him, encourage them, be encouraged by them, and be encouraged by these devotionals. We've got more coming. That's right. And if you do have questions about how do I do that, ask. Just ask, because we'd love to share, and let's learn together. We will see you tomorrow. Absolutely. Have a great one, guys. Take care.